Hey guys, this is my first ever Photoshop tutorial and today I'll be showing you how to create a simple yet effective moon. There's quite a few videos on YouTube already that shows you how to do that, but one more can't hurt, right? So let's get Photoshop opened up. Once you open it up, it will be something like this. Go up to File, New, and set up your canvas size. It can be any size you want it to be. For this, I'll just work with that. So, press D on your keyboard and that will reset these colors to black and white. Go use the paint bucket tool and set the background layer to black. Now I want a new layer so we go down to create a new layer. There we go. And switch these color palettes around so you can get white as your selection color. Use the eclipse tool right here and if you don't have that selected already you can always hold down the mouse key and you'll get a set of options. Go down to your Eclipse tool. Then press and hold Shift. Draw out a perfect circle. I'll center that a bit. Now I want to go to Filter and Render. Difference Clouds. Press OK if you get this message for the shape to be rasterized. Click OK. And you get sort of a moon type image. Of course we're not done, so go up to layer, layer style and blending options. Here we want outer glow and inner glow selected. A little tick on the boxes. We'll start with outer glow and we'll set the colour to white. Its default colour is kind of a orange yellowy kind of colour, but we don't want that. So get that out of the way so you can see the effects going on. Set the size of the glow to whatever you want. I'll just have it a bit a bit like that. And that's pretty much all you need to mess around with that. You can just experiment with other settings to make it better, to make it uh, have more of a shine to it, more of a range to it, but I'll stick with a simple little glow. Now let's go to the inner glow and change the colour to white once again. Now here, the size, I'm going to set it to the max. See how much of a difference that makes. That's much better. We'll have it set to edge. And once again, you can mess around with the other settings of your moon, however you like it, experiment. I'll press OK, and that's basically your moon there and then done. I hope that's really helpful to you and if you've got any projects coming up requiring a moon, there you go. Now if you want to create a stylized moon like in the fantasy kind of moon and you want it to be a different colour, we can always go up to layer, adjustment layer, there, and hue and saturation this pops up and you can press OK. When you do that, hue and saturation window comes up and you want to select colorized. See that? It turns the moon red-ish. For this I'd like to set it like a blue color. Have the saturation set a bit higher to intensify the color. Lightness, you might not want to set this to anything. So keep that as zero because I'm going to show you. If you set it, yeah, it alters the colors a bit. And to be honest, you can have a bit of lightness, but if you're working with something else in the background, then you want to set that to zero. Ah, that'll be fine. So click OK and there you have it, that's your moon. Very nice, very simple, very effective. Thanks for watching.